What's up, everybody? This is the Excel Dude coming at you again. Today, what we're going to do is go through sensitivity analysis. We're going to use an example of, let's say, a hypothetical mortgage refinance. Again, do your own due diligence, check your stuff. This is just going to show you how to run the numbers so you can do the analysis yourself because you know your own situation a whole lot better than the Excel Dude. So if you've been liking the content, hit that Can't Stop, Won't Stop kitty on the bottom right-hand corner of the screen. And without further ado, let's jump in. We've got a data table here. Let's say we have a mortgage, we purchased a place, or we had one at $200,000 was the balance. Um, that's what we had to make a payment on, that was the principal amount we borrowed, and we got it at 3%. Then it was a 30-year mortgage, so 30 years times 12 months, that'd be 360 payments. That's what this is. When it's paid off, that mortgage balance will be zero. Right now it's 200, or when we started, it's going to be zero. And this was the payment. So we use this function, PMT, payment, and it uses this data right here. We need our monthly interest rate, so you take your annual divided by 12. Your monthly uh, payments, you have 360, equals 30 times 360. It's going to be worth zero um, at the end, or the value of that mortgage will be zero once it's paid off. Home should be worth a whole lot more, hopefully. Mortgage amount, 200 G's. You do that, you get this, bang. Then all we did here was put it there, and we would highlight this, and then we'll be able to just go data, what if analysis, data table, and we enter our info. The row input cell, it's gonna be right here. Well, actually, we'll just click here, the monthly interest, column input cell, we would click the mortgage amount, and it would give us this. So in as long as that took, so imagine under, like knowing the steps, run through it once or twice. Within probably 30 seconds, if you're quick with it, you can have, this is a full 100 different calculations. So if you're looking at different homes, different price ranges, you can calculate your mortgage based on the rates you can get. It's, uh, it, it saves you a lot of time. Instead of having to do this, thing, this equation right here, let's say 100 different times with 100 different inputs and changing them all, copy and pasting, it'd be a pain. It'd be a waste of time, honestly. So here, we're going to do another example. We have um, a payment of, let's say we've paid our principal down to 175000 over however many years or whatever time span. And we can go from 3% down to 2%. What we'll do here equals, there's the payment. Beautiful. But let's say we need to do our data table. So we just copy the payment in there, right here, and there. Now we need to get our hypotheticals. All right, well, if we refinance here, if we were here, should we pay it down to here first? Should we pay it down to here first? Should we do this? Should we wait? Should we take cash out? All of those scenarios. You just do this, highlight the whole thing. So click it, data tab, what if analysis, data table. The row input cell, here's the rows that are going in. So we'll pick the monthly interest rate. Then we go to our column input cell. That's going to be the principal amount. Click that. Hit OK. And there it is. Awesome. You've got yourself a hundred simulated results right here. You can change these up as you want. If you go to, let's say, uh, to 09782 or 3, you'll get that. It'll update, all that good stuff. So what we're going to do here is this is a little conditional formatting so just kind of a you want to see where you're at in terms of the hypotheticals go here and you can do home conditional formatting highlight cell rules and we're going to go with uh, let's do equal right now and if we want something that's equal to this we're going to highlight it in yellow okay so that's where we'd be now if you paid it to 160 your payment will go down to this 150 to that just a quick visual representation. Let's say your numbers get a little more varied. There's 3 million, 2 million. Your interest rates go from 2% to like 50%. You know, however it is, if it's some other type of deal. Sure, we just do this. We'll highlight the whole thing again. Home, conditional formatting. And then we'll go color scales. This one's awesome. And there you go. The lowest ones are in green. And as they get higher, they go to red. So this thing could checkerboard, but you just need a quick visual representation. You don't want to see, all right, this is over here, this is over there, I don't know. Who's going where? 
it doesn't matter. But on this, let's say this was the scenario, 3% to 2%. So we'll look at our first payment here. We had that. Refinance payment would be something like this. Okay. And we'll go this minus uh, that. Savings would be $196.37 a month. Okay, so we'll go monthly, annual, and we just take that monthly times 12. And there you go. So again, hypothetically, if you were going to pay less than $23.56.49 uh, to do the refinance, like everything included, you're making your money back in a year. And if you're going to stay in the house five years, who knows? Could be a great deal for you. You have to look at your own situation. But I'm always a fan of keeping my own money. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Maybe I'm weird. But if they were going to charge you $4,000 for this, you might think twice about it. You might say, your fees are a little high there. Maybe I need to find someone else. Maybe I need to call up, I don't know, whoever else it is, whether it's your local person, whether it's some large national chain, whether it's some retail warehouse that happens to be in the mortgage game now. I don't know. It doesn't matter. But... That is just a hypothetical scenario for you, and that's something to think about. And if you ever have to run the numbers like that, you don't have to do a million calculations. You can do this in 30 seconds. So that's it. If you liked it, great. I'd appreciate you hitting that can't stop, won't stop kitty in the bottom right and subscribing. See you next time.